So we're going to go ahead and download and install Visual Studio 2015 in this video. And in order to do that, first you're going to need to navigate to visualstudio.com. Then you're going to download the Community Edition, and the Community Edition of Visual Studio 2015 is free so long as you have five or fewer developers, and that's even for commercial purposes. Then we're going to go ahead and run the installer, and finally we're going to open Visual Studio just to verify that everything is working properly. I'm going to go ahead and navigate quickly over here to my virtual machine where we're going to go ahead and do the installation. And you can see I've already got visualstudio.com open up in my browser. And if you scroll down on the main page, you'll see that you can go ahead and just click on the Download Community 2015 in order to get the IDE. You can use earlier versions of uh, Visual Studio. I would recommend that if you're going to follow along with this video series that you have at least Visual Studio 2012 or higher. Uh, anything less than that and your screen is going to look a little bit different than what we're going to be seeing through the, throughout this course. I'm going to go ahead and download the Community Edition 2015 just by clicking on the button and it should automatically go ahead and download but if not you can of course click on the click here to retry button. Okay so here we are at the first screen after we start to uh, do the installation and you can see it's just going to prompt us to use either the, the defaults or you can go through a custom set of options for your installation. We're just going to go ahead and choose the default settings, but you're welcome to go ahead and go through those custom options if you'd so choose. We're just going to also go ahead and leave the default location for our system, uh, and that should be installing to our program files x86 directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on install. So here we are at the next step, which is just basically telling us that everything has been completely installed and we need to go ahead and restart our system. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, so after our system is restarted, we should be seeing this uh, Welcome to Visual Studio website should come up automatically. And we're going to go ahead and open up Visual Studio here. I'm just going to go ahead and use the Cortana search here to go to Visual Studio. And you should be able to see that there is now Visual Studio 2015. I'm just going to go ahead and click on that to open it up. Okay, so now that we're starting Visual Studio for the first time, it's going to go ahead and ask us to log in with an account. So if you don't have an account, you can create one or you can just go ahead and select maybe later. I do have an account. I'm just going to go ahead and click sign in and then uh, I'm going to go ahead and log in with my account and then we'll move on to the next screen after that. Okay, so after your setup has completed, you should now see the start page when Visual Studio opens. Uh, now the, on this start page, you will see different things like news articles you can read uh, and featured videos to help you uh, to help guide you through Visual Studio and some of the code development that you might be able to do in Visual Studio. So let's go ahead and move on to the next step, and that's going to be to create our own project.